An investigation is underway after a man took his own life with a gun inside the Eden Prairie Center last night. Now we're learning new details on the circumstances surrounding his death. This was a scene last night at the Eden Prairie Center when authorities initially feared there was an active shooter. WCCO's Alan Henry spoke to shoppers as they returned to the mall today with last night's tragedy at the top of their minds. Families returned to the Shields at the Eden Prairie Center this morning, met with a sign saying due to unforeseen circumstances, the store would reopen at noon. I would have hoped they would have taken the whole day, but I mean, they have their business, they have to be up and running and try and go about their day as normal as possible. Eden Prairie Police were back at the Shields store this afternoon, minutes before they reopened their doors. Their investigation is still underway, but today they were able to provide new details. In a statement, the police department said a 19-year-old man asked a store employee to view a semi-automatic handgun from the gun department. That man then fled from the employee with the gun, loading it with ammunition police believe he brought into the store, firing a single shot, taking his own life. Very tragic. Um, I feel horrible for the people that were involved, especially the employees and the bystanders that were there to witness it. Some see the incident as a tragic reminder of the importance of taking care of your mental health and each other. Because of what's happening in our country with mental health, I understand that's happening all the time. So that doesn't make me feel less secure about coming out here. I think that people just really need to learn to seek help um, if they are going through some struggles. Um, I know it's easier said than done, but they just really need to seek help. In Eden Prairie, Alan Henry, WCCO 4 News. We reached out to Shields for a comment about the incident, but have not heard back from the company yet. If you or someone you know is struggling, remember 988 is the new free suicide crisis hotline. Someone is there to answer your call or message anytime, any day of the week.